Ever since I started playing badminton, I knew that I wanted to enter competitions. I've only been playing for three and a half years, but I've entered 20 competitions in my city. I answered it like way before I ever should have entered a competition or ever had a chance of winning. Just because like, that was my goal from day one, was not just to be better at badminton, it was to be good enough to compete and then win in badminton competition. But just because I enter competitions doesn't mean that I'm comfortable with it. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I have been extremely nervous at competitions, so much so that like when I'm getting ready to receive a serve, you can see my racket shaking. And that's just local competitions with like people that I know. Bigger competitions, I'm just so scared, sometimes I can barely breathe. I've progressed a lot since the shaking days. I don't shake as much. I do still shake a little with nerves. I've come up with a few techniques and tactics to help keep me calm and help relax me and keep me focused during a competition day. So today I thought we could talk about techniques and ways to help give you courage and confidence during a competition. year or, or maybe even more than a year um, I was very apologetic my level was not up to competition level I knew that I'd only been playing for one year when I started competitions but I've always like pushed myself and wanted to enter competitions so for a long time I was very like apologetic to my partner because I knew we were gonna lose and I knew it was because of me so the first piece of really good advice I got was actually from Yang Ping one day we were drinking milk tea and I was talking about like lack of confidence in a competition and just like in general and he said um, do you say sorry to your partner a lot and I say oh god all the time and he said don't don't say sorry and he said look they know your level it's obvious. Hello. He said, look, they know your level um, is obvious. And you know, if you feel really bad, just say sorry at the end. But everybody goes through the beginner and intermediate phase and everybody feels that way at some point. If somebody plays with you, they know. They know what it's gonna be like. So he said, don't be sorry, don't feel sorry. You're learning. You're not expected to be an expert from day one. And something about that definitely um, resonated with me and comforted me. Because it's true, as women, there's studies that prove in women we say sorry all the time. Somebody bumps into us and we say sorry. Or somebody uh, demands our time or demands something from us unexpected. And instead of saying, no, we can't do it, we say, oh, sorry, I'm too busy. Women say sorry a lot more than men. And in badminton, I've noticed it a lot too. So that was my first confidence booster was don't say sorry. They know my level, they know how I'm gonna play. And I did say sorry at the end of the game, but I didn't say it during the beginning. next piece of advice came from my coach. He saw me get second place in a competition that I should have won. Our opponents were not better than me, but he could see that I didn't have confidence. So after the game, he asked me, were you scared because they were gaucho, like expert players? And I said, yeah, of course, I'm not gonna win against gaucho. He said, actually, those were very low gaucho. He was like, you could have won. He said, the problem was you thought you would lose, so you lost. And he said, what you need to do when you get on the court is say, I am a gaucho they are afraid of me. My opponents are afraid of me. And one night we were playing, we were playing against really good opponents and it was a small little like club competition just for fun. But even in a club competition, I was still nervous. So my coach said, Xiaobing, they're afraid of you. Don't be afraid of them. And I looked across to the guys across from me and it was a mixed doubles team, a young couple from college. They had been playing together longer than I had even been playing badminton. And I said, uh, are you guys scared of me because I'm a gaucho? show? And they were like, uh, okay. Because <laughs> they were trying to encourage me. So that was something that I carried with me for a long time. That I'm an expert and my opponent is scared of me, not me being scared of them.
Another inspiration I get is actually from a weird source. There's a writing book called Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. The title of the book comes from a story she tells about her brother. He had a um, big report due with a ton of birds. He had to write up an encyclopedia of birds. And he was very overwhelmed by the task. And he was crying and his dad said, just take it bird by bird, buddy, bird by bird. The meaning of the story is, don't look at the big picture, just take it like step by step. While it's advice for writing, um, I actually use it advice for badminton. When I'm playing a competition, I say to myself, just take it bird by bird. Um, that's point by point. Because if you look at the whole game, it feels very overwhelming and very long. But if you just focus on like this point, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna focus on this point, I'm gonna stay in the right position for this point. Focus and pay attention for one point. That gets me through point by point. So when I'm playing a competition in my head, I will tell myself, just take it bird by bird, buddy. <laughs> bird by bird. <laughs>